back. Uh, we're, we were, we're live. We're getting a little bit political. We were talking about you know the gays, uh, the gaming industry, how stupid that was. Uh, <laughs> that was that was an instant failure. Anyway, it's like what's the uh, point of that? It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. Waste of time and money. Everybody. Uh, Where's the taxpayers' money? That was the state of California taking it to the judges. So you just wasted a lot of taxpayers. Anyway, it's a lot of time. Uh, onto the Bible, onto that uh, that fairy tale. What is that called? Fiction or not fiction? Fiction. Fiction, right? It's pretty much fiction. It's like a comic book. Yeah, it's not real. Uh, like I said, the real Bibles are out there in the East, the Middle East, and all that. You know, hell, look up the Egyptian scrolls. That'll tell you what went, went down. If you really want to know about Jesus, they know about him. They know about Moses. Anyway, so I think it's funny that people will believe a book that was made six months ago rather than an original archive or original notes and books that was made thousands of years ago. And they say, like, oh, that, they don't have the proof or that's not critical. You know, uh, Again, a guy that was born in 1980 can make a Bible and they'll follow that guy. What the hell? You know, it's weird that people can believe some crazy ass shit, you know, that's in the Bible. You know, it's yeah. like a lot of weird shit in there, right? They'll believe it wholeheartedly. Uh, dinosaurs walked with men a thousand years ago. No, they believe that. Like, no proof. Whatever. Nothing. Good. Yet, they refuse to believe in aliens or the Loch Ness Monster. No proof for that, but hey, okay. man. Why can't we believe in that? No, you can't. Can't because there's no proof. Well, there's no proof from your fucking stories that you have in the Bible. There's no proof that Noah and his fucking art. I like the ones that are like the hardcore Christians, the hardcore Catholics that don't believe in UFOs. Y'all do realize it's even in the book where Ezekiel witnesses and he and he writes it and it's even stated he witnesses these wheels on fire come down from the sky. These wheels with these these, these round machine with eyes. Come down and land, and what? And what exited? These these humanoid creatures with four wings and four faces. <laughs> and on the top, there was a mother a throne. Somebody on a throne, which you could describe as a mother. What did they say? It was a fucking angel. Yeah, no, it was God Himself. But it was it, it was, you can you can tell the way by he described it. It was four UFOs that landed, four uh, beings that come out, four Samaritans people, four Samaritans. That's what they were. If y'all all know, the original people that were here were Samaritans, okay? And they had wings. They didn't have four faces, though. That's just probably like a mask or something. Uh, but they did have wings, the Samaritans. Uh, or the Bidu, whatever you call them. Uh, that's what he saw. That's what he witnessed. And he witnessed a mothership on top of all of them. That's in your Bible. So I don't know why they say they don't believe in that one. It's right there in the Bible. They choose what to believe and what not to believe. See? But it's not in the new Bible. So, man, there's so many. Up with that? There's so many different fucking versions, and you know, people choose what to believe and what. You, and why don't they have the Bible when Jesus was young, he killed a boy, or when Emmanuel was young, he didn't? I'm not saying he did it on purpose. I think he accidentally did it on purpose. No, because they don't want. Because they don't want anything Bible. in there. They don't make him human. Ah, okay. Nothing. They, no, no. They, I mean, you can go out there and see where it says like he pushed someone off a roof. Yeah, they don't want. He didn't survive. No, these guys, man, <laughs> you'll fuck up their whole world yeah. if you say that Jesus was human. And you guys that that believe in the Middle East, please do not, do not even listen to us. I am not trying to offend you guys. All right, this 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 is more for America and Americans and how silly. They follow and do their beliefs over a, a fictional book like that. You know, something that's been written in so many times. So this has nothing to do with your religion over there. Yeah, uh, because I don't want to offend them because I know they take it very, very seriously. <laughs> no, I mean, and I should give them that respect because they're the only ones that have followed that original book for thousands of years. And I'm just making fun of the the American book. But you know, yeah. All right, yeah, fucking yeah, uh, fucking snipers, man, come after me. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, hey, you know, we're not telling, we're not saying that you know your religion is stupid or anything. I know, have, I know, but believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. All right. All I know is that um, there's only a couple of rules that you need to follow to live a good life. All right. First of all, uh, always try to do the right thing. Two, 
uh, fucking, um, always fucking uh, think positive about shit. And three, fucking, uh, always fucking, uh, fucking take care of your family and your friends and But you know what that all comes down to? What? It's just follow your own heart. Right. Trust yourself. Why do you gotta Trust fucking yourself. give in and, and believe in a fuck a silly book? It, it's too many rules, man. I'm not saying Emmanuel didn't walk the earth. I'm not saying he wasn't real. He was. Yes, we all know that. Uh, but this, this goes for the American, the American and the and y'all religion. It's just it's just nonsense and silliness already. That you've given up your natural. Um, what is that? Natural thoughts, your natural uh, instinct. Yeah, your instinct. Your own instincts for a, a silly book. Follow your common sense. But you know, I see that what it is though. See, there's a lot of people that are weak minded. The ones that fucking put their babies in microwaves. Oh, right? Weak minded people. And they need a crutch. They need something. Well, to... You know what? The sad part is, she killed her baby and now she's going to be like, I found God now, so it's yes. okay. It's okay because I'm a reborn again Christian and he's going to forgive me. Well, eventually. Once he dies, <laughs> so I, don't, I don't believe in heaven. But I hope he does, man. But uh, you know, uh, the the way I look at it, man, is that uh, just fucking follow your, your heart. heart. Don't, yeah. don't fucking follow some some asshole. You know, it's telling you that that uh, his way is better. Yeah, his way is better. It's not, fuck that shit. That's a cult. Yeah, it's a fucking cult, man. I just I hate that. I can't stand that. You know? And it's people like that that are that are trying to uh, that that bring other people down, you know. And that's why other people will, will never be able to trust themselves because there's always somebody shadowing them about this. That's why this uh, this fucking uh, Rick Perry asshole. That's why he's got to lose. That's why uh, the Sarah Palin bitch. She's got to lose. That's why this Michelle Bachman bitch. That's why she's got to lose because they're fucking Bible thumpers showing up trying to run for president, saying good. Praise Jesus, praise the Lord, and I talked to Jesus last night, and He said that I'm going to be president. <laughs> I mean, shit, I want to talk to Jesus. We'll, we'll bring it up. No, we're bringing it up. Another crazy bitch is running for president. Uh, I'm sorry. I told Laz, I'll be political. Another crazy woman, crazy. Yeah, is running for presidency. Um, I have no problem saying bitch, but you know, like I said, it's all fun and games, but. There are some women that get offended out there, and yeah, I will acknowledge them, and I will respect that. That's right. Let's clarify. No. Not all women are bitches. No, no. But they have sent requests to stop using it, so I will. Oh, they have? Wow. Ah, uh, but another crazy woman. But if I'm drunk, I can't <laughs> promise anything. You can't promise that. Uh, <laughs> another crazy lady. Uh, what is she, a governor or senator? Michelle Bachman. Uh, she's a fucking, uh, I think, governor of Minnesota. Man, I don't know who's worse, her or Palin. They're both fucking horrible, and they're both fucking clueless. Oh, she's someone that replaced material? Yeah. Wow. And I think she's either a uh, representative or senator. One of them. Representative, two. representative. And but anyway, I have that. She's a fucking moron. Uh, and it's not because is it because she's a woman or just because she don't know anything? It's because she's religious, and she lets that govern everything she does. You know, Hillary Clinton's a woman, and I don't think of her as being a fucking idiot. No, she's oh. smart. I don't okay. think of her as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what happens. Okay, look. When somebody is smart and they do their job and they have, I don't, look, okay. You don't even think of their gender at all. You don't, I don't. And it's not, I don't think of her as a man either. She's just a smart. She's a smart she's person. Smart, smart politician. Yeah. And, you know, this chick. She would uh, be a great president. Yeah. Well, she, no, she would be a good president. She probably should have won. But, she's uh. about the ultimate advisor. She's got Clinton, baby. She's got Bill Clinton. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> yes. As far as every I know, know that, you want me back, America. <laughs> Clinton, man, if he ran tomorrow, I'd vote for him a thousand I said, times. Man, I'd I let that guy to for the day I die. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'd elect him for life, you know? But <laughs> this crazy girl now, apparently. Apparently, her thing is that Obama is a Muslim radical that is trying to put. All of the white America into death camps. Can that and say racist anymore? <laughs> <laughs> and then, I, I, what do people got against Barack, man? Oh, because he had rapper Common show up at the White House. 
So she says that he condones uh, violence towards uh, women, and he condones violence. The original Bush uh, wanted Ice T to be at, at the uh, the White House for his party. I know. So where is the where is the fucking Oprah about that? Uh, Ice T didn't want to go because he says that's not gangster. No, it's not. So awesome to Ice T. Yeah. But see, Rama gets fucking common to go. <laughs> and Khan is nowhere near a hardcore rapper like that. No, but he's black. He's a rapper, so that's what they go on. You know, these guys, they're racist. You know, they're racist. You can't say anything about them. You know? They are fucking racist. And you got Palin, who doesn't even know how to fucking read a book. <laughs> and then you got fucking Rick Perry, who's... Ah, oh, man, that's a money guy right there. He doesn't believe in anything but money. Yes, just money. He's all about But that. he uses the religion for that. Yeah. That's how he gets y'all. Hey. Jesus gave me my money. Now Jesus needs money. <laughs> so I can run for president because Jesus said Jesus would believe in that. <laughs> but why are people giving Barack so much shit, man? Uh, I love Barack as a president. I think he's awesome. I, I, I like Barack because no matter how fucked up things are, he will show you He's your normal American because he does everything so casual. He goes to games. There is nothing about unbecoming a president of that. He goes to games because he wants to show the world, hey, I know we're in a bad situation, but you know what? I'm going to do what y'all do too. When things are tough, I get over it. I move on. I see a game. That's you how know, I get over it. You know what? Like, it's, is it, I mean, is it so bad that he tries to like blend in? Do something for everybody? Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. But, but they're like, oh, he's got to be in office every day, fixing this problem. Like, no, that's why he has a cabinet. That's why he has a staff. Everybody <laughs> works together. All right? What is this fucking Rome with us? Caesar just making all the decisions? No. <laughs> that's man. what they say. That's what they think. They, they say, they're like, oh, man, he's becoming a dictator. Like, no. Are you kidding? What are you talking about? I, I like him as a, I mean, he's cleaning up Bush. Bush's eight years of shit. They don't, it's like they don't get it. You know, it's they don't get it. Bush. He was like a, such a, a monumental. And you know what's so funny? Bush was a monumental fucked up, and he was white. Yeah, he was your white, all American dream boy. Christian. And he fucked your country so bad, and was pissing y'all off as you have this Muslim black man fixing it. And oh, it just eats y'all away that that's what he's doing, and he's doing it so calmly and cool. You know, he's like, hey, I'm gonna go to a game, I'll fix this economy right now. Yeah, fix that. Some, some taxes, some cuts. Who cares about taxes? It happens every year. Good God, people, get over it. It's been like that since the very first presidency. Don't go after Barack. I like Barack. He's a cool guy. He's going to win again, but, you know, uh, we got to do whatever we can. I'm saying. To if it comes down to it, I will actually vote for Barack this year. And I don't vote. He didn't vote. I don't, I, I've never voted in my life. But if it comes down to it, I will vote for Barack. Yeah, yeah, because... Uh, I like because I don't care what his race is. America was founded off different races and cultures, was it not? So why are they making a big deal out of this guy? Because he's a non-American. That is right. BS. He's a perfect American. He has he, there. There is no set gender or no set uh, what is that uh, ethnicity to be American? None. Last I checked. Last I checked. Um, so I think he's awesome. He sent troops to Libya because that guy was fucking nuts. And he was going to kill his own people. Yeah, they, and, they, they, but they only sent Arab people, right? They actually had a warrant for him, though. Yeah. Uh, so he didn't go start a war over lies that they had bombed. And the only reason he did that to 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 take action in Libya is because Libyan's people asked for help. Yeah, and he had to. I mean, to be a good guy, he got the fucking guns. Go yeah. do it. At that point, he said, "You know what? I don't. Right now, uh, I'm going to help other people. I don't care how bad this makes me look in America." Hey. So what? And they're saying, oh, because those are his people. No. Right. He, he did the right thing. And uh, they get all fucking pissed off about uh, uh, him fucking regulating these uh, corporations and all that shit. Well, Isn't that what shit. he's supposed to do? Yeah. Right? He's doing his job. These corporations are fucking out of control. Try to do something about that shit. <laughs> now they're getting mad about getting it. Mad about well, I think they're getting mad because he's not, he's not white. Because he's a black Muslim man and he's telling them how to do their job. And oh, man, it's just evil. Yeah, I, I like I said I like Barack Obama because he's just your average guy. Well, he likes to be the average guy. He likes to show that to to America. All right, we'll be we back with part eight.